The Second World War, the most deadly war we have ever seen, shaped the 20th century, and even more importantly, it challenged conventional norms fundamentally. In an era when warfare was often considered the exclusive domain of men, the Second World War broke those barriers and dragged women and even children into the war. But it wasn't just the home front where women found themselves contributing to the war effort. There were brave women that stood next to men on the battlefield as soldiers and they even took on roles as spies. Both roles required courage, intelligence, and most importantly, a willingness to risk everything. Especially when they served as spies in occupied territories, they became the unsung heroes of the Allied forces, gathering critical information and sabotaging enemy operations. The courage displayed by these women was extraordinary, yet it came at a terrifying cost. Capture meant facing horrifying punishments, where execution was the lightest form of punishment. Welcome to Past Perspectives, and today we go behind the battles of the Second World War you have learned about in history. Today we dive deep into the lesser known aspects of the war, and we will uncover the horrifying punishments women faced when they were caught. And we also look at heartbreaking stories of women that sacrificed everything to serve their homeland and the brutal consequences they faced. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to Past Perspectives so you can learn about all the history topics you've never learned about in school. In the Second World War, the art of espionage became one of the most important parts to win the war, and it opened doors for women that were unparalleled in their scope and danger. As the Allied forces tried to gain an upper hand in the war, they used espionage as a secret weapon to be one step ahead of the Nazis. And this is exactly where the role of women comes in, not as secretaries or support staff, but as full-fledged spies on the front lines. Why women? The answer is simple. In many cases, women were seen as less suspicious and could move with more freedom in occupied territories. Their ability to blend into the crowd, acting as ordinary citizens while hiding their true intentions made them an invaluable asset. They brought unique skills to the role, including linguistic abilities, cultural understanding, and sheer courage. Many were recruited from the very territories that were occupied, providing an intimate knowledge of the landscape and people. These women were sent on missions that were terrifying, to say the least. From sabotaging railway lines, transmitting intelligence, organizing resistance movements to rescuing drowned pilots, this was their everyday work. And while they played a significant role in shaping the direction of the war, we can't forget the immense risk involved in this work. A single mistake or a misstep could lead to capture, endless torture, and a slow, painful death. These dangers were ever-present, and the stakes were life and death. Many women operated under multiple identities, with forged papers and concealed weapons, knowing that discovery meant a certain death. The operations they were involved in were incredibly varied. For example, in France alone, women spies were instrumental to the success of the D-Day landings, gathering intelligence on German defenses. Another example would be in the Far East. They infiltrated enemy lines to provide information on troop movements and strategic plans. However, their contributions went beyond mere intelligence gathering. They fostered connections, built trust within communities, and inspired others to join the resistance. They were leaders, organizers, and fighters, embodying the spirit of defiance that defined the Allied effort. Yet for all their courage and determination, the dark reality was that someone would inevitably fall into enemy hands. The stories of what happened to these captured women go far beyond the inhumanity of war and show the terrifying consequences they had to face. Capture was often just the beginning of a nightmarish ordeal that unfolded within the grim walls of prisons and interrogation centers. The enemy forces, particularly the Gestapo in Nazi-occupied territories, were known for their brutal methods of extracting information and seeking revenge for spying on them. Once someone was identified as a spy, these women were subjected to relentless interrogations, designed to break not just their bodies, but their very souls. Now before we move on, I want to give you a quick disclaimer. The content provided in this section contains descriptions of the cruelty during World War II. We don't include this to sensationalize or exploit these stories, but to present a historically accurate representation of what happened to women spies if they were captured. This is a crucial aspect for understanding the extraordinary courage and resilience they exhibited. 
Now, during the Second World War, torture made a horrifying step forward and was a calculated and systematic process designed to break the will of prisoners to extract vital information. The torture at this point was so efficient to inflict maximum pain without causing immediate death. The first methods used were beatings and whippings, where prisoners were beaten with fists, boots, or batons and whips. Oftentimes, these beatings were brutal and lead to broken bones and internal injuries. If that wasn't enough to get the information out of you, the methods used became way more excruciating. One of them was waterboarding where a cloth was put over the prisoner's face and water poured over it to create a feeling of drowning which puts the body in a state of extreme panic and fear. Another one was electric shocks or thumb screws. Thumb screws are a medieval device that was used to slowly crush the thumbs or fingers. The spies were often forced to watch and anticipate the ever-increasing pain. For women, another layer was added, which is sexual abuse. It was used as a form of torture and as a method to degrading them. At the same time, they used sleep deprivation and forced positions to combine physical exhaustion and the breakdown of their mental resistance. As the war moved on, so did the creativity and torture, and the capturers became mere masters in their craft. It is reported that they added mock executions which were designed to terrify their prisoners by making them believe they were about to be executed. The fear and relief could break down mental defenses, making them more pliable to interrogation. And if that didn't break their minds, they used a variety of pharmacological methods and injected the prisoners with drugs that disoriented them to make them even more vulnerable to interrogations. These shocking methods had a huge effect, and this way the Nazis were able to get the information out of most prisoners of war. However, telling them what you knew didn't mean that you were free and could have your old life back. Instead, you'd be rewarded with death. Execution, when it came, was often carried out with grim efficiency. Firing squads, hangings, and the gas chamber were the final chapters in the tragic stories of these women. Their deaths were rarely quick or merciful, reflecting the merciless nature of those who held them captive. Yet, in the face of such unimaginable suffering, many of these women displayed extraordinary resilience. They held fast to their convictions, refusing to betray their comrades or their mission. One such example is Virginia Hall. She became known as the limping lady due to the prosthetic leg she had to wear after a hunting accident. Virginia Hall was a relentless and skillful operative, defying all physical limitations. Born in Baltimore, Maryland, she aspired to a career in foreign service but faced rejection due to her disability. This didn't deter her from making her mark during World War II. Virginia's work in occupied France was vital to the Allied forces. She operated in the shadows, organizing resistance networks, gathering intelligence, and aiding in sabotage efforts. Her ability to slip through the grasp of the enemy earned her notoriety among the Germans, with the Gestapo dubbing her the most dangerous of all Allied spies. During her work, she found out about German troop movements, fortifications, supply routes, and military installations, which became vital for planning Allied military operations and sabotage efforts. Due to her skills, she was able to prevent getting caught multiple times in extremely close situations, and she was fortunate enough to never get captured by the Gestapo. However, the next female spy was not so lucky, which was Noor Inayat Khan. She is one of the most famous female spies during the Second World War and unfortunately met one of the most brutal fates. Noor was a trained radio operator and worked as a vital link between the French resistance and London. However, after being betrayed by a French woman, she was arrested in Paris on October 13, 1943. She was transferred to the Gestapo headquarters for interrogation. Despite being subjected to repeated questioning and torture, she refused to reveal any information about her activities or her fellow operatives. Due to refusing to share any information, she was transferred to Pforzheim Prison in Germany, where she was kept in solitary confinement. On September 13, 1944, she was executed at the Dachau concentration camp, with her famous last words being, Liberté. The last fate we need to take a look at is the one of Violette Zabo. At just 23, Violette was a widow and a mother who undertook two missions in occupied France. The first one of these missions was the sabotage of road and rail networks, which was a success. However, during her second mission, she got in a fierce gunfight and she was captured. For weeks, she was interrogated and tortured by the Gestapo, but never revealed any information about her mission or comrades. 
She endured brutal treatment and was moved through several prisons and concentration camps. In early 1945, she was brought to Ravensbrück concentration camp where she was executed just months before the end of the war. As we end this video, I want to put emphasis on the extraordinary courage and sacrifice of the women who served as spies during the Second World War. They faced unimaginable horrors and risked everything in the pursuit of justice and freedom. Now if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to Past Perspectives to see the side of history that is rarely talked about. And with that being said, thanks for watching and until next time.